Dak is back here with part three of the Deep True Horror Edition, and we are level five closer to evil. And last time we were left off, these were spikes coming out of the ground, but I was wrong, and it was a crazy bat that keeps coming after me over and over and over. But now this is much different, and I can switch and I can run. Before I. Let's move on. Let's go. Okay. What's behind this door? Now through... Oh, I didn't know what was going on. Look at all those spikes. Can I, <laughs> I cannot touch them. Get out of the way. And I can go up here. Can I go over here? Yeah, I'm trying on a pressure plate. When don't I do that? Every place I walked it through here, I hit a pressure plate. But I could jump over here and screw you bats. Go away. Don't push me over on the spikes, please. I did not appreciate that. Run, run, run. I wonder if you can fall through the little tiny holes. I don't know. I don't want to figure it out. And go down there, and that's probably the level down. I run so slow. Stop. Okay, I'm jumping down. I see a lever down there. Can I go through this door? I need a key? Of course I need a key. When don't I need a key? Mr. Bats, come on. I want to show you something. It's called a new... What is that? No. Don't kill me, please. I don't appreciate it. There's the key. Found it. Move, bat. Move. I'm going to bat you. Uh -huh. Another gravestone and the thing in the third floor is breaking. I wonder if the thing in the crypt is going to be here. Because the last time he was here, or any other place that I've gone, he's just been in a dark... I need a key. Is the key over here? No, I didn't think so. Any spiders coming after me? It's been a while since the spiders have started spawning everywhere and crawling all over me. Is is just everywhere the floor starting to break now? Everywhere I walk, just wants to kill me. Any bats? And floor start breaking now. Hello, box. Do you have a key for me? You don't have a key for me. I can't go over there. Can I go over here? I hear. Why is the bat making a sound, but there's no bats around? And it's, oh, there's a bat. Hey, how you doing? You look so good. Look at you. Oh, you're so healthy down here in this blocky cave. And of course I can't go anywhere but here. Can I slip through this part? Yes, I can. Give me the key. Give me the key. Where is the key? Money. There's the key. Yeah, you stay in there. You're just a caged bat now, aren't you? You're not going anywhere. So we gotta go back through here. Uh, yeah, right here. And then to the other door, which would be very, very, very nice because this is a lot easier than the first two parts, three parts, where it got extremely confusing on what to do. Like the little lever things that kept moving up and down. Just couldn't figure it out. And can I jump down here? <gasps> no, I'm not gonna jump down there. Break, break, break. Break, no more bats, huh? Didn't think so. Moving on! Oh, Crypty, you back here? Are there any crypts back here? Get it? The thing in the crypt? Crypt? The, the, oh no, last time this happened, the crypt guy was here. And a door, no key, great. And behind door number two, we have. Ah, no, go away. No thanks, I'm good. And behind door number three. Nothing? Wow, you guys are just screwing me over today. And this one over here. Behind door number four. No, I'm good, go away, go away, go away. Behind door number five. The key! You know, we should call all the crypt dudes what we're gonna call them now. So here we go. That's what we're gonna call them. We're not gonna call them. What? I have the key. Why is that door opening? I walk so slow. It's probably because of the cobwebs. Don't whisper in my ear. Sweet nothing's in my ear. I don't appreciate it. Nothing. Where's the door? Where? Okay, door number one. 
Do I, oh, I gotta go back. Do I have to go back? I think I do. I don't remember. Can I go this way? Okay, here we are. Great, and we get to go down. My favorite. Hello, anything's peculiar. I'm just gonna follow the crates. And there's nothing over there. I run very slow. I do not appreciate it whatsoever. Bum bum. Bum bum. Can I jump up there? So I'm going to use my fallout instinct and I'm going to go on either side and explore everything I possibly can because there might be a little easter egg. And nothing here. Into the The sixth well of souls. Ooh, I bet I have to deal with a well full of souls. Hey, a book. And a well. The book contains information about the well of souls. Any living entity who has their essence played in the, into the pool, placed into the pool, will have their life given to another being, thus prolonging the other's life. If the pool is corrupted by dead material, the one who draws the power from the pool will find no insurance. So, corrupt the well of souls using dead material. Can I throw my dead soul in there? That'd be great. Uh, what can I throw in there? There. Do I have to go back and kill spiders and just like grab them and throw them in there? That'd be pretty cool. I gotta go stomp on all of them. But then it would not be a horror game at this point. So there's nothing going on. I'm just gonna walk around. Can these fall? Oh look! Oh, A dead spider! I like the spiders! They must have fell from the top and trickled all the way down to here. Corrupt us! Why is everything blue? Okay, alright, everything's blue now. Your captor has arrived. Who's my captor? I didn't capture anybody. I, I got a dead spider. Well, I'm just gonna keep collecting dead spiders, put them in this fancy dancy well full of souls, and the ground is breaking. So, why is everything blue? Is that just me going crazy? Give me the spider. Or is like my computer freaking out? No, not you again. No, okay. All right. What? Why? Who? You stupid! You came alive. Yeah, that's right. You better fall. I try to help him out, trying to save him in the well of souls, and they come after me. It's not good. What is that? <sighs> Hello, Mister. <sighs> yeah. Ah, uh, go away. And another dead spider. How many spiders do I need? Did it say? If you knock me in the well, I swear to God, I'm gonna be mad. Three! No, you need more than three? Okay, why? Why, every game has three. Every game has three times when you hit them, they die. Or if it's a boss, eight times. But still, usually three times in any game, you're done. But how many dead spiders do you need? You know, for me, I'd probably kill as many spiders, because I don't like spiders. I'd probably just kill as many, keep throwing them in there over and over. But if a dead spider is the size of your head, then we have a huge problem. Escape, part seven. Ooh, what's on the floor? Bandages. So can I leave or no? I mean, is this all a trick? Oh, I'm going upstairs now. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Do I have a light source? I never thought of that until now. How do I have light? Like when I blink, I'm like, I can see everything. Why do I have light? Is it coming out of my butt? That'd be pretty interesting. Mr. Are you here? Turn the lever. I don't know what it does, but turn it anyways. It'll be the death of me. Hey. We're free! Yes! That is the deep, the deep, the deep spider day. Yeah, you know, if I was in a cave full of spiders, my heart panning would not be as fast as he's. You have escaped. I have escaped. Now what? Can I run away? Or am I stuck here for a Give me past the wall. Let me pat. I am not escaping what's anytime soon because I'm stuck behind an invisible wall so anytime you are stuck in a cave remember to stay in there because once you leave you will be stuck in on a wall my final score is 134 what's the score what's the score 
Okay. Great. That was the deep. Thank you so much for watching. Click my channel for new videos you like to see. I did like this series a lot. It gave you the most atmospheric type feeling because it didn't have that, ah, oh, there's a jump scare, you know. It was more like the feeling of being trapped and like claustrophobic with, you know, spiders and stuff. It just, it would probably make me feel really uneasy. But try this out yourself. I mean, if you can get a higher score, I mean, go for it, but you're not going to beat mine because 134 is the highest score out there. You can check with the developer of the game. He said, I totally beat this game. I found every Easter egg pop. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't find anything. Thank you so much for watching. Click my channel for new videos. Let's see. Goodbye and good luck. Come on. So, let's say this looks like a very fun bunker that I don't really want to be in, but I'm going to have to be in it. Evening of November 1st. AM to 6 a.m. And I think that's enough to tell Fulton. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, again. man. Bye. I.